Photoshop custom shapes can be used as is. So basically if you get a CSH file, custom shape file, you can use that design and you don't have to change it, you don't have to modify it, just use it as is. Now if you want to modify it, transform it, scale it, rotate it, warp it, you can do that via the transform tools. Now I'm just going to quickly show you how. I've got some shape files here from graphicextras.com, but you can use other shapes. This is in Photoshop CS5, CS4, etc. PC or Mac. Now I'm just going to select one of the designs. Select that one. Now I'm just going to use as a shape layer. Can't do the fill pixels and modify it by transform command. But I'm just going to use that. Now I'll just drag that out. Once I've done that, I can go to the tool there, select that. Now I can, of course, size it, scale it, can rotate the design, but I also can go to the Edit Transform Path and I can use Perspective. So I can actually apply Perspective to the shape. Click OK at that point. And also I can go to the Transform Path, Warp, and also modify it just, just by dragging out the design so you can just subtle change but also you can use some of the presets so there's various things like bulge flag rise fisheye of course you can modify those individual parts so make it slightly bulkier there click ok once you've done that you can actually go to the edit define custom shape save it as a new shape design I'm just going to get rid of that and I'm just going to go to another shape tool, shape design, select that. And again, like I say, you can do exactly the same thing. You can resize it, obviously, just rotate it. Click OK. You can also go again, edit, transform path. You can skew, distort. So you can just really modify it in extreme ways. Just drag it out really like that. So just click OK. And now I can gain Edit, Define, Custom Shape. Click OK there. And of course, let's get rid of that. And then now I can go to the Custom Shape tool and I can quickly go to the designs I've created. Just add them quickly. Okay, so you've got a new set of designs just simply by using the Transform commands. Now if you want to save them, you have to go to the Shapes palette and right click here, Save Shapes. And you can save all the current designs plus the new additional shape designs.